Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, in this video, I will show you how to calculate the mean division for group data. So, we have this frequency distribution table and then from the table above, calculate the mean division. So, as usual, we write the formula first. Okay, so mean division, the notation is E. So, for group data, the formula is the summation of modulus of x minus x bar times f and then divided by the summation of f. Okay, so x, okay, x for group data is the midpoint. And then x bar for group data is the median for ungrouped data sorry mean okay for ungrouped data is also the same x bar is the mean and then f is the frequency so mean for group data is equals to the summation of f times x and then divided by the summation of f okay so from the formula of mean division, we know that we must calculate the mean first. Okay, by using this formula. So, we copy the table given. Okay, and then we must add another column to calculate the value to, sub, uh, to substitute into the formula. Okay, so to calculate the mean, we must have F. So, F is the frequency. And then also we must have the x. x is the midpoint. Okay. So to calculate the midpoint for the first class. Okay. So for the first class, we have 0 to 4. So the midpoint is 0 plus 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. And then from 5 to 9, 5 plus 9 divided by 2 is 7. And then 10 plus 14 divided by 2 is 20. And then 15 plus 19 divided by 2 is 17. Okay. Value of f and x. And then next, we can calculate the value of f times x. Okay. We add another column here. Okay. So f times x. For the first row, we have 30 times 2 equals to 60. And then 51 plus 7 is 357. 10 times 12 is 120. 10 times 17 is 170. Then from the formula of mean, we know that we must find the summation of fx. Okay, so the summation of fx. 60 plus 357 plus 120 plus 170 is equals to 707. Okay, 707. And then uh, to calculate the mean, we must find the summation of F. So frequency here, we have 30 plus 51 plus 10 plus 10 is equals to 101. So next, we can substitute these two values into the formula of mean. So mean for this data, x bar is equals to the summation of fx, 707, divided by the summation of f, 101. So 707 divided by 101 is equals to 7. So, this is the mean of this data. Alright. And then next, to calculate the mean division, first, we must find, or we must calculate the value of modulus of x minus x bar. Okay. We add another column for modulus of x minus x bar. Okay. So, x bar just now is a 7. I just write here. To make it easier. Right. So x is the midpoint. So for the first row we have 2. So 2 minus 7 is negative 5. But we have modulus here. So modulus of negative 5 is 5. Positive 5. 
Okay, keep in mind the modulus, the value in the modulus must always positive. Alright, then for the next class, we have uh, 7. So 7 minus 7 is 0. And then 12 minus 7 is 5. And then 17 minus 7 is 10. And then next, we find the modulus of x minus x bar times f. Right. So, from the modulus of x minus x bar just now, we multiply the value with the frequency. Okay, so 5 times 30 is 150. And then 0 times 51 is 0. 5 times 10 is 50. And then 100 times, eh, sorry, 10 times 10 is 100. And then, from the formula, we must calculate the summation. Okay, so 150 plus 0 plus 50 plus 100 is equals to 300. And the next step, we substitute this value into the formula of mean deviation. Okay, so E, mean deviation, is equals to, okay, the summation of x minus x bar times f is 300 divided, divided by the summation of f is 110. Okay, sorry, 101. So 300 divided by 101 is equals to 2.97. So, this is the mean division for this data. Okay. So, this is the steps to calculate the mean division for group data. Alright. So, in the next video, I will show you how to calculate the variance and standard deviation for group data. Okay. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and bye.